Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you six different ways how I pull my hair up into a bun or a messy bun. It's just something I love doing whenever my hair feels um, greasy, when it feels like it's lifeless, and when it's like the weekend and I don't wanna do anything to it. This is what I absolutely love to do. So I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. First, I am gonna show you um, just the basic bun. Right now, I have day-old hair. I'm gonna throw in dry shampoo into my hair. The Batiste dry shampoo is medium and brunette, a hint of color. It's actually amazing, it feels really great, and I like it a lot. Sometimes a lot of dry shampoo has that white flaky residue, but this one doesn't feel like it leaves that much. I just spray it a little bit on. First, I'm gonna start off with the basic bun. This is super easy. Um, takes only it's like two seconds to do. Your hair can be curly or straight. It doesn't really matter. It's just more, much more prettier with curly hair. First, you're gonna do is you're gonna pull, hold your pony. You're gonna twist and tuck, and then twist again, and keep going around in a circle. So just keep twisting and tuck, twist and tuck, and at the ends. Here, you just want to tuck it underneath your bun. I use this long, extra long bobby pin here. It's my favorite. I normally use three of them, three to maybe four. It holds it in all day. So all you need to do is grab a little bit of the bun right here. Okay, and I want to do it where I tucked in my hair strand. So grab a little bit of the bun, pull it out, away from the bun and tuck it into the bun. It's really, really super tight. It doesn't feel like it's moving anywhere. But I want to make sure it's secure for the day. So again, grab a little bit of the bun right here and then away from the bun and go into the bun at the base, okay? Tuck it in and it feels really tight and I to do one more in the back. And I fluff it up. It looks differently every time when you do it. It's the weirdest thing, it just always looks different. And I'm gonna use the spray wax by Chi. Love this stuff, it smells amazing. It's a six hold, but it is smells incredible. You can finish off with hairspray. I don't care for it, so, because it's gonna get messy anyways. And that's the basic bun. Next, I'm gonna show you, I kinda call it like the tower bun. It's super easy, it's kinda like the same process instead of twisting, you're just gonna hold it flat. Grab this, no twisting. So I'm just gonna move it forward. Put my finger right there. And do it super tight. Okay, if it you see if it tw twists right there, just grab it out of that funky twist. Grab a little bit of anywhere. It's really technically anywhere on the bun. Pull it out away from the bun and into the base. So that's the tower bun there. Next bun is the, call it the braided bun. Grab a smaller elastic, small elastic right here, tie it. You can grab, um, for dark hair, the black, for light hair, do the clear. Okay, and I'm gonna fluff it up a little bit. And from this point on, just, See right here, if I don't want it that high, I grab a little bit of that hair shaft, okay, and then go out and down to the base, and fluff it up, okay, finish off with spray wax, we're probably going to have a lot of spray wax, and that's it. Okay, and that's what it looks like for the braided bun. Next one. It's with the donut. And I've done it almost every single different way. This is the way I love. So pony, slide this into the middle. All you need to do is separate the hair in half. My hair is average. All I'm doing is spreading. Just even around the donut. I grab another elastic, put it around the donut. Fluff it up a little bit right here, just kind of. Okay, so it looks like crazy right now, but look better in a second. So I just start at the back. So I grab the back and I twist it down into the scalp. So down, up, up into the sky. So down into the scalp. 
tuck it in and start pinning. I use three body pins again. Okay, from this point on, just fluff it up. I think it looks good. That's what it looks like. And this will stay. Like I tried the one that rolls it into the donut, did not stay, but this one definitely will stay. For thin hair, you're gonna have to back home. Back to my pony with lots of spray wax. Let's do the donut. Pull it through. And you wanna grab this brush. It has a lot of bristles and it will help tease it. See how much more even it is? So I grab pieces at a time and do it this way. So it's covered really well, really, really well. Put on the elastic, how I showed you before. Okay, fluff it up. Kind of play around with the donut. Fluff it up, then same thing. Twist and go around. Donut. And that's how it looks like. And it feels much thicker than how I did it when I did it without back combing. But it feels super thick, feels super nice. And then the last one is one of my favorite buns. Okay, I'm gonna grab this guy and grab another elastic twist it first. Actually, this is the fifth bun. So I'm gonna go in first, grab all the hair out of the um, elastic, then go in again, you twist and pull until the ends are barely um, tucked in. So keep pulling. And that, if that feels good, yeah, that feels good for me, see? So that's how much I have in the back. And I'm gonna twist and grab up. I'm gonna twist and grab some of the bun and slide it in. Okay, so this part right here is still in the back and this is in the front. Okay, so I'm gonna just play with this area first and play with this area, but this area is the important part right here. So kind of fluff it up and fluff this up. Add in the bobby pin. So that's how the back will look like. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Just like that. And right here, I always actually put a lot more spray wax. Just play with it. And last one here. My hair is still on pony. I'm gonna pull it through to the ends. Okay, twist. And just tie it really good. So it looks like this. You can actually can technically wear it like this. It doesn't look bad at all. Okay, yeah, sometimes I wear it like this too. But this is what I do a little bit differently. So I grab a little bit of the side, I twist and pin. You can do it however you want, but this is how I do it. So grab a little bit of this, twist and pin, honestly. So this one takes a little bit more than the three bobby pins. Here, okay, and then here, I just grab any piece of hair that needs to feel like needs to be pinned and pin it down. And you see this little spot right here, you can leave it out or do that same thing, the braid. So that's how this messy bun looks like for the day. It looks differently, honestly, all the time. So you do whatever you want to it because it's depending how you pin it and piece it together. But you just kind of grab and pin, grab and pin, and grab and pin. This is what it looks like. All right, and that's all six buns that I showed you today. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. And thank you so much, you guys. You guys have a good day. Bye.